Here's a little review of, uh, so I left a review on this John Nix, uh, Law Office of John H. Nix, right? And uh, I left it probably you know, a month or two ago and uh, he commented on it. He like left a, a statement countering what I had said on my review. And we'll say, uh, so I tried resubmitting it, you know, editing it and adding a response to what, you know, his lies. And it said, uh, since it will not let me edit my original post, I figure it's safe to do another post in response to John Nix committed fraud against me. Okay, hold on, so that didn't roll together right. So John Nix committed fraud against me. He altered documents to help cover up his friend's affair and banish me from my daughter's life. The abuse of the civil court system I have endured has left me with bad PTSD. After committing the fraud, his friends have been harassing me further. I have a whole, I have the whole last meeting I had with this man recorded. We had an agreement and it looked nothing like what ended up being put in the court system. Fraud has cut me deep. All for what, to cover an affair? And he responded and he said, uh, normally I don't respond or abuse because this is a tough business. However, this gentleman enjoys conflict. He shouldn't have voluntarily signed paperwork to terminate his parental rights if he wanted a relationship with his child. He showed up the day before his hearing to say he changed his mind. It was not the day before my hearing, but anyways. Unfortunately for him, the mother of this child feels that he is dangerous and did not wish to change her mind. This gentleman has been the subject of criminal harassment and protective orders involving my client. And then I said, in response to the owner's response for the viewing audience, Mr. Nix intentionally is, is intentionally lying to the people that come here for an honest review. He lied to Judge Phillips of Sherman, Texas. I can prove that. He knows this had nothing to do with avoiding child support. He also knows that there were never any claims of violence. He knew where to serve me at and intentionally sent my service to the address that was awarded to his client in the temporary orders. My waiver was void once the documents were changed. My ability to speak publicly about what he did to me or what he did was supposed to be my safety net against the fraud that they ultimately committed. I was duped by a group of legal professionals, and then they attempted to protect their good names by placing an injunction in an already agreed upon document after the fact and made sure I didn't have my day in court by serving to an address they knew I did not live at. He had a good address. I can prove that. Recorded audio number 63. Last me and Nick spoke, we were going to set up visitation and child support, and then he went to the judge and said otherwise without giving me my day in court. The protective order and harassment charges would have no leg to stand on if they hadn't committed contract fraud in the first place. Keeping up with the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case, I am Depp in this, and John Nix is the legal team defending Amber Heard. I do believe John Nix was lied to and only found out after the fact that those lies had him doing some illegal things that could cost him his license, and now he has to maintain that lie so as to keep himself in business. Truth is, I wish nothing but great things for him. I just want him to do the right thing. I am the victim in all this. Amber Heard had a protective order put on Johnny Depp. I have witnessed more false allegations of violence than I have legit ones in my life. Protective orders are used as a tool to gain leverage in court hearings. They are not a sign of guilt. And almost every lawyer I have spoke with on this matter, they say that the judge is playing better safe than sorry. And I get that. To any police agencies, this is me using my constitutional right, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion, and the supremacy clause of the U.S. Constitution to exercise my rights. Maybe some sap like me will be in a similar situation and will bump into this review and think, hell no, I can't trust this guy. Look what he did to this loving father. I have a YouTube channel under the name Lon Meeks. If you go there and wish to gain more understanding of this review, there are hours of conversations posted on there. Any detectives wish to fully investigate this, please contact me. My number is 254-421-8379. You can also reach me at lonmeeksll at gmail.com. That's L-O-N-M-E-E-K-S-L-L -L at gmail.com. Thank you.